Hey and welcome back. So this is the first video of this course we're actually going to actually start to learn how to actually tackle an iOS take home project. So I'm really excited to get started with this. Now in this video, we're going to take a look at what to do and how to approach a brief that you've been given for your take home project. So as you can see on the screen, this is an example of a brief that you may be given, giving you instructions of what it is that you know, you're expected to build. So what we're just going to briefly and quickly do is just read over the brief in terms of what we've been told that we need to do. So so here's the brief. So you've been tasked with building a new app at the company that you work for called People. So People is a simple app that interacts with the request API to fetch people, view their details and create new users. These are the core features that this application offers for the initial MVP phase. Now, if you don't know what MVP means, it just means minimal viable product. It just basically means like the bare bones of the application. So the company wants to build and improve the new app and I'd add new features in the future to make people even better. This includes animations, visual feedback, and enable haptic feedback. So your job is to build this application using the following tech stack, Swift UI 3.0, MVVM architecture, Xcode 13 plus, but you can use the latest version of Xcode and almost no third party libraries. So this application should include the following features as an, a minimum MVP. So fetch users and display them on the screen, view user specific information, create users. And if you have time, Try to think of any other ways you could improve this application and possibly implement one of the future features listed above. Within the resources folder, you'll see the mock-up designs for the app, which you should use as a reference point when building this application. Try to think of the best patterns and components you should use to build out the UI. Refer to the Apple Human Interface Guidelines for guidance on the best UX. Treat this like an app that you'd be proud to put onto the App Store. You should spend no more than 24 hours on this project. The main thing to focus on is that you should build the MVP features first and then worry about any additional features afterwards. It would be great to get this back to us within a week, but please let us know if you need longer so we can take this into consideration. We look forward to your submission. Wow, that was a lot of reading. <laughs> So the first thing that you want to do is actually fully understand and read the brief before doing anything. So you can actually download this brief on the description box in this video as well as the mockups that I referenced in this brief as well. So you may be wondering why am I actually doing this? Well, why can't I just jump straight into the code and just build this app? Well, you could do that, but you need to make sure that you have a clear path of what it is that you're trying to achieve. So you actually want to take some time aside to fully understand the brief and also the designs as well. Now, in my opinion, what I normally do and what I like to see candidates do when I ask them these type of questions is I want to see you actually break down and take, pick out the key parts of the brief. So let's just look at the key parts here. So some of the key parts that we just look at it here is they've said here that they want to build an MVP. So what are the MVP features? Well, the MVP features the minimal viable products. So they want to see us build the MVP really well. So they actually list out here three things that they consider as MVP. So these three things here should actually be the main things that you actually build first and also as well the main things that you actually make sure that are actually done really well. So that's what we want to do. So also as well, if you look at it, it also notices, it also mentions, I should say, that we should build it up using SwiftUI, MVVM architecture, and Xcode 13 plus. So these are a couple more few things that we try to consider key as well. So we need to make sure that we're using this technology to actually build the application. And the final thing is almost no third party libraries. So what they're basically saying here is that they want to build an application with almost no third party libs and we should just be using the core, you know, the base core SDK that comes with iOS development. So if we want to make a network request here, we need to be using URL session and not libraries like Alamo file. Cool. Now they actually did list out a few things here that are nice to have. So if we actually just go back up to the description, it says here, new features in the future, such as animations, visual feedback, and haptic capabilities. So these are not things that we need to do but if we do have time, maybe we could actually pick one or two out of this three to add into the application. And if we do have a lot of time, then maybe we could actually implement all three of them. So at its core, the main thing that we wanna do is make sure that we're including a lot of the things that are in bold here in the bullet points. Now, one final thing that you may have not picked up on was this paragraph here. 
It actually says when building this application, try to think about the best patterns and components that you should use to build out the UI. Refer to the Apple human interface guidelines. So they're actually expecting us here to make sure that we use the Apple conventions when working with UI and also as well UX as well. So when we're doing navigation and we're changing to like a different screen, we need to make sure that we're using either a modal in the correct context and we're also pushing to a screen in the right context as well. So this is something that's really important because you want to make sure that you're using the correct UI to show that you have an understanding of what UI components to use in certain situations within iOS development. Cool. So these are the key things that we need to include and need to be in our project at a minimum. So what you want to do now is see how much time you have to actually build this. And if it's not listening in the brief, then ask the company in terms of how long you have left. But in this brief, it's actually listed that there's 24 hours to build this project, which is great. So we know that we have a day to try to build as much of this as possible. We know what needs to be done. So let's actually break out our brief into a plan. Now we wanna plan out the things that we're going to be building into must-haves and nice-to-haves based on the brief. We'll start off with the must-haves in the section below. So when we're looking at must-haves, some of these include users so we actually must fetch users we must include navigation to the user's information we need a screen to actually create users basic error handling mbvm architecture implementation you need to be using url session and we also need to be including swift ui as its usage so these are the must haves that we must have when building our app now, when we're looking at nice to haves, so these are things that we can add in if we have time as bonus to help our app stand out from the crowd. We want to include visual feedback with animations, screen validation, pagination, if, if possible with the API, and unit tests. Cool, so now we have a plan of action for all the things that we're going to do for tackling our take home tests. Now we're actually ready to move on to the next step, which is actually breaking down the designs, which is what we'll do in the next video. So that's everything in this video. If you have any feedback about this, I'd love to hear in the comment section below. Also as well, if you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to get updates for whenever I release a new video. That's everything from me. I'll catch you on a bit. Deuces.